Why, hello everyone from deep in the bowels of the library of Sunset Lodge number 369 in Santa Monica, California. We welcome you to the program Illumination. Once again, it's from our lodge and we just absolutely love having you guys here with us today. It's our half an hour talking about everything to do with masonry and our lodge and our members and the people that are that have been around for a while and those that are brand new to us. If you want to tune in, we are now here once a month. On the first of the month, we're usually posted. And you can find us, and if you want to find anything else about us, you can send us a, an email or go to our website first. That's sunsetmasoniclodge.org. That's sunsetmasoniclodge.org. We would love to hear from you. We're here every Tuesday night. We have a meal at 6.30, and we have our meeting at 7.30. So if you're a Mason, you can join us for those meetings. But if you're not, hey, come come have a bite to eat with us. You know, we'd love to see you sometime. We always have food. Masons love to eat and have meetings. Don't we, don't we? And in that order, too. Right. That's what they like, you right. know? My name is Les, and this is my new co-host, Sean. And he's here in... Um, uh, the first meeting, I, I'm always real big on first of things. I wanted something very, very special. And those of you that I saw our last podcast know exactly what, what I'm talking about. We had Krista here, and Krista uh, spoke about the, the numbers 3, 6, and 9 uh, from Tesla's point of view. And it was just wonderful. Uh, thank the world of Chris, uh, Krista, and she's really, really a brilliant brilliant person and she did a great job but i thought today we would sit down and let you guys get to know my brand new co-host and sean it's great to have you on board man you're great just to be here you're great absolutely here. awesome and um you know you're I'm, I'm telling you how much of a brother i am to you because you're you're wearing a new york the greatest hat. team in america baby Ah. This is truly America's team. I'm well, sorry, Brother Les. Uh, you, you know where I'm from. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, you, my, I can't my hold team, that against you now. My, you my team is the Dallas Cowboys, okay? Oh. Let's face it. So, but, sorry to hear that. Hey, I, <laughs> <laughs> you, you know I love you if I'm letting you sit in the right, same room right. with me with that hat on. Same, same. You it know. takes a lot of love, brother. Right, you right. Know, it takes a lot of love for that. So so there you go. Nah, but I wanted to sit down and find out a little bit about you and let the people get to know who you are. And First of all, I just really, again, want to thank you for being a part of this program you you you've already added so much to, to what we do i'm excited to be here and i i, I hear your enthusiasm and you're you're just going to be <laughs> awesome and you make my job let's face it my jobs will be a lot easier with you around so so it's gonna be great you know there were a few times here about 10 minutes into it i didn't think i was gonna be able to go any further oh, with some people that's you know sweating bullets oh and, man it and was a little warm that day yeah. but that's okay was, that happens yeah it happens but it's you know it's so good having you around and you're you, you're bringing so much wonderful energy Appreciate and it. a perspective on things and um it's gonna be great i know it's gonna be great. oh yeah it is now Tell us a little bit about yourself. Where did you grow up, and what did you do, and where did you go to school, and so forth. Find out a little bit about who and what you are. Well, I grew up in the inner city around Compton area. I went to Crenshaw High School, played a little football there. Then I transferred to Hamilton High. Went to Southwest, played there again. You know, we got our heads beat in almost every, every week, kind of like the Cowboys. Uh, oh. um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but... Um, yeah, but since then, I've, I've been working, you know, trying to stay out the way. Yeah. You know, I've been meeting good people here and there. So just trying to trying to find a way, you know. Yeah. I've what been did you finding like to, good ways to do what, what did you like to do when you were growing up? Oh, video games. A, uh -oh. lot, of, a lot of video games. Uh -oh. My dad used to used to be on me about working out, you know, for football and stuff like that. Yeah. But I played a lot of video games, WWE, Madden, Call of Duty. Those are my go to. Oh, man. Yeah. Madden's the best. Yeah, Madden's so good, especially when you're you know when you're playing against the Cowboys and you get to just run the score up as much and you can restart the game too. It's great. <laughs> you know I gotta tease you about that. He, he's rubbing it in. <laughs> I okay? gotta rub it in. Yeah, I, yeah. I gotta rub it in. Gotta he's, rub it in, guys. He's got to be able to set up the the game just right for right, that. You right. know, so you know, it's, well, what is the Giants' record nowadays? Five and one. 
Five and one. Yeah. We're four and two. We're yeah. just behind you there. Yep, yep. Unfortunately, the one comes from the Cowboys, but I knew you was going to get that in here, so I, 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 had, I, had, to, I had to jump the gun on that I'm one trying, a little bit. I'm trying to be okay. loving to my brother. You, you know, I, I had to, to give loving. you a little flowers back because I did a little, you know, you know, I did a little rubbing it in, but at the end of the day, I had to give you your credit where it's I good. got my you love know. from my brother, okay? so <laughs> Exactly, exactly, exactly. There you, you go. Know. Well, there you go. What? Well, uh, so, so you you went to school here and so forth and so yeah, forth. Yeah, I and... also stayed in Alabama a little bit growing up. You know, here and there throughout the years, I sure. would stay there almost half the year and still be going to school here. It was a little hard on my teachers, and they they would let me know when I come back too <laughs> how hard it is getting email homework assignments and tests and right. so forth and stuff like that. Right. But we got through it, and it was. A great experience. I loved it back there. Oh, awesome. Okay, yeah, so that's know. good. So um, how long have you been out of school? How long has it been? I've been out of school since, what, 2012 high school and college was, I was there for about a year and a half. And so where did you go to college? I went to Southwest College. Okay. And then I, I took a few classes here and there online at Alabama and Harvard, but I don't want to, like, make it seem like I was, like, a Harvard student. And, you know, it was a little... A little time where they were allowing people to go. <laughs> hey, well, just, play it up, play it up, play it up. Come on, bro. Right. Come on. You went to Harvard, didn't you? Did you go Online. to Harvard? Online. No, no, it's okay. You went to Harvard. I'll just take a little. It. Just a little. My brother here, our co-host, went to Harvard. I want you to know that. Okay. Online on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. So so, what have you been doing in between now and then? Um. So. Like I said, I've been working. I've been diving a little bit into different things like politics in a sense, trying to trying to learn about how, how the world works and not how the world works, but how how things work outside sure. of being a child. Because, you know, once adulthood hits you, it, it comes hard and it, it doesn't really give you instructions to just say, well, here, there's the door. Go, go, go through it. You know, oh, I remember that. I remember coming out of high school and being just like <sighs> shocked. It's like I, I just thought I thought everything was just going to be so great, you know, like the movie script. And then I had had no idea what I was heading for, but oh, to man. like, geez, adulthood. Got, what's got, this? Got my little oh, heart broken. Man. Soon as soon as I got out of school, oh, I was man. like, oh my goodness, this oh, is how man. the world works. Yeah, <laughs> there's, there's a lot of fish in the sea, but have you seen those yeah, fish? Yeah, uh, man. Oh, you man. Know. Yeah, I don't you know. know. I Sometimes don't know. you know a lot of crappie. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you gotta you gotta scatter through it. But yeah, you know. that's right. Yeah. All right, now tell me. So so what got you interested in becoming a mason? Oh, what got me interested in becoming a Mason? I heard, uh, well, growing up, I was hearing a lot of things, you know, here and there, good, bad, you know, you, the normal conspiracy theories and black helicopters sure. that I don't like to really put too much energy into because if, if I'm not getting it from the horse's mouth, I'm not getting it from the horse anyway, you know right. what I mean? So right. as I got a little older, I started to find out things and, you know, different people that knew about it and so I would ask them and they would say well you know when you get a little older because I was in high school you you know you, you could come by and we'll talk about it so I got a little older I met a brother that was um I guess into it a little bit he wasn't all the way at at the third step yet but he was pretty 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 much headed it was a little cold the COVID situation was going on so sure. that that broke up a lot of people's you know timing and and things like that so when I met him, you know, I asked him about it, and you, and you know how it goes. You know, you got to fill people out first. So he didn't, he didn't really give me too much, too much energy on it at first. And then after a while, I did, I did a certain thing that you're not really supposed <laughs> supposed to do. I threw on a ring around him, and I was like, he he'll say something about it then. And then he was like, hey, you know what that is, right? I was like, well, yeah, I know what it is, and. No, you're not really supposed to wear it. If you're not really a part <laughs> of it, but yes. hey, if so, if I want to join and no one's going to tell me they're in, I got to find a way to get their attention somehow, right? You know, so I did that, and um, after a while, I, I had different meetings with them. We did a, uh, I want to, I want to say, I don't want to say press conference, but it was like an interview press conference type thing with the sure. sheriff. Sure. I don't want to mention the brother's name because uh, of his of line of work. You know, sure. I don't want you know anyone to be like, oh, hey, I, I see that you are, you know, so. But yeah, we did that, and after a while, you know, I asked him that day how many of these cops and things like that. I wonder how many of these guys are, are Masons, you know. And he said, "That's a good question." You know, one day you'll probably find out. And then um, that's when I told him, like a month or two later, that I was sending in, you know, the little inquiries and stuff like that. And he said, "Well, don't worry about it. I know a place you can go." And then we found the place I was raised in, and that's where it the knocking started. Wow. Last, last year, July. 
So okay. 2021 is when I started to knock on the doors. Was there anybody in your family that was Mason? Um, my grandfather was. I didn't really find out until I started knocking. It was kind of weird. Um, I, my mom knew that I'm pretty sure, obviously she knew the whole time, but once I started knocking, she was like, oh yeah, well, you know, your grandfather was Mason. And I go, really? Why you never, t you know, why did you never, t she, she goes, I didn't really think I, had, I needed to, you know what I mean? So once I started to dive in, she, she, she was a little happy about it. And then that's when she started to tell me different things. And I got certain things sent out here from back home in Alabama involved with him and masonry. And it's been nice. I had a few books sent. I got a Masonic penny. Yes. I, and for those of us uh, that are listening to us by audio, he's holding on to a special penny and it's got a little emblem inside of it. Now, I don't know how we can hold it up. It. Well, Brother Michael, where could, do we need if, to hold this up? Is that all right? In the it's camera got that, for you guys right. to see. But. So forth. But it, it's a really cool looking yeah. penny. It's got a little a square and compass. Um, inside of it. It's I don't really think it's good enough for one cent anymore, but, you know. No, that's all right. It's, I would want to keep it anyway, right? It's priceless <laughs> the right, way it's, it is, huh? It's the way it is, right? I was thinking of putting it or donating it to the lodge or something, you know, to put it up somewhere. But sure. I'm pretty sure we have one of these somewhere. I just never seen one myself. I haven't either. You know? I haven't either. That's my first time to see something like that. All right, so um, I'm going to get into something uh, right after this break. I, I like to take a break about halfway through yeah. to remind everybody that that uh, you guys are listening and watching Illumination uh, from the Library of Sunset Lodge number 369 right here in Santa Monica, California. If you want to reach us, real easy. Our website is sunsetmasoniclodge.org. That's sunsetmasoniclodge.org. Here every Tuesday nights uh, from 6.30, we start eating. And once again, you know, if you're a Mason or not, it, it doesn't matter. If you're in the area, please stop by and have a meal with us. You know, we have some really, on our degree nights, we got some, in our, our uh, business meeting uh, nights, we have some uh, really good food. We have this we chef coming in and cooking for us. Yeah, he's great. And it is a trip. If right? anyone has ever had any of the dessert that I do not let anyone get a chance to get any of, uh -huh. it's great. Yeah. I, and that's if you guys why have any questions, you know, the comment section is always open. I'm there sure. answering questions 24 seven. I don't sleep. Um, so <laughs> whenever you want, whenever you want to just chime in and, you know, get to know anyone here, Get to us on the comments if you want to be a guest on the show. Get to us on the comments and we'll figure it all out. Yeah, we would love to have we'll, you. Yeah, so, we'll. so we are here and please do drop by anytime. We would love to see you. Let just uh, let everybody just let us know. Um, Sean and I are here all the time, so you can come up to us and say hi. How about that? And if we're not here, someone's going to be That's here. It. Brother Michael, by someone. the way, I want to say a big thank you to the guy in the hot seat right now. It's right. Brother That's Michael, keeping man. keeping this all afloat. He's the one that set it all Without up. Without him, this is not possible. So a right. big shout out and special thank you to Brother Michael. Yes. All, all we do is sit here and talk. Right. Because this, this is all we he, do, right? He's you know, everything. He's, he's, he's everything the brains else. and the muscle and everything, guys. That's Trust right. me. That's right. So he paid us 20 bucks to say all those things. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get mine yet. So. Uh, you'll get it. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, real good. So so we talked a little bit about you beginning. Okay, so let's say you're coming up to the door, you're knocking on the door, per se, at the very beginning. What were you thinking when you were coming in? Because, you, of course, you know nothing about what Freemasonry really is all about inside the degrees. What were you thinking about? What was your motivation? What were you um, wanting to do? What I was thinking about, if... If I could stop sweating and shaking, I was so nervous that day. Of course, of course. <laughs> I, I didn't know. I honestly didn't know what to expect because I go into everything with like an open mind. You know, I, I don't like to have um, expectations or anything like that because for me that that makes me feel like I'm putting myself on like some type of pedestal, and I expect someone else to be a certain way around me or to me, and that's just not the way the world works. You sure. know, so I just came in with an open mind. I was like, hey, you know, this is a place that likes to make good men better, and I like to call myself a good man, and let's see if I could become an even better man. You All know? right, real good. So, so that's how you approached it, and oh you, yeah, you yeah. got accepted in. Yeah, it was and it was great. The brothers, the brothers that that the lodge I attended to previously, they accepted me with open arms. It was a great experience. It was really good. It was really good to be there. All right, real good. So let, let's go through this thing. You you were, you have just finished your first degree. <sighs> 
What was that about? Tell me about that. I was mind blown. I was, when I was going there, I was like, what is going on here? Like, it yeah. was so great. Like, it was a great experience. And then afterwards, I was just like, man, I don't even know what, what to say. You know, it was it was just a, a honor to be there. I was so thankful to everyone. I think I made people get tired of me saying thank you so much because nah, it was man. such a great experience going through your first degree. It's, you, you you never really forget that, you know. And, and for me, it was a special day because it was uh, the 22nd of February this year. So, you know, the 2-2-2-2-2. Two, oh, two, wow. two, two, two. So everyone made that a big deal, and, and so did I. You know, that was that was a that was a good experience. So it was a day to never forget, and then a night to never forget. It was it was pretty good to be oh, there. Oh man, what a great day yeah, to do man, that! It was man. great. Yeah, it was really great. Whoa. Okay. So, you know, that was awesome. You you finally got to see a little bit of the light. Just a little bit. Yeah. It little. was it was it was nice though. Yeah. All right. So here you are. You you get your proficiency from your first degree mm -hmm. learned, and then. You start so it into took, took me a good 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 little that's all right. minute it takes to learn a little bit. Yeah. You know, it's it's, it's, yeah. it's a lot more than just memorizing something. Yeah, because it was honestly it's because it's it's like a way of reading that you don't really do right. in this present time. So it right. was kinda hard to re revamp my mind to read in that type of time because I was like, Oh wow, I have to read like this is eleven oh six year, you know what sure. I mean? So it was it was a, it was a good experience though. It taught me how to read. I'll say that. I tell you, the nomenclature <laughs> think, is totally different. Yeah, the we, language. Yeah, and we think we know totally... how to read until until we have to read certain things, and we'd be like, "Whoa, we, <laughs> I don't know how to read too well." You know, <laughs> like, you we know. learn what we don't know. Yeah, right? yeah. So then, when the second came around, it made that one a lot easier to learn. There you go. Yeah. Well, speaking of the second, my favorite degree, isn't it? Everyone's it. it I for did, me, it's so great. Being the senior, and those of you that are Masons know I'm the senior deacon of our lodge. You know why I love the second oh, degree so much. Because there's, so, isn't there so much richness, yeah, depth man. in that? Yeah, and, and I'm trying so hard to pry you out of that seat to do to do that special <laughs> that special part. You know, I, yes. I want to do it so bad, but I'm gonna focus on what I need to do first. Right, right, right. <laughs> I still you got know? that last that last proficiency. Next <laughs> year, the year after next, hey, right. that's a possibility. You know, I, right. I, I, see, I see you coming up on that. You see man. me, you see me in the wind. You know. <laughs> oh yeah, I do. I do. It's going to be great. I, I know I've had it for a long time, and yeah, I, it was time you know. for me to step aside. Yeah, because so. you know, the Cowboys haven't really done anything, so it's time for a giant to take over. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I always find time always in the 24 find inch time. to get that subtle jab. You got to. Right? You got yeah. to. You, you wouldn't be my brother if you didn't do that <laughs> right. to me. Now, come on. We, come we on. have to go to, a, to a, a bar to see a game. I don't really drink too much, but I don't I'll have it. a nice soda there. <laughs> and, and have a good root beer. Right. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'll and have a good root to. beer. We'll have some root beers there. The next yeah. giant cowboy game. Yeah. You know what? It's actually on Thanksgiving, so I don't know how oh, that wow. will work. Maybe we could come in to the lodge, maybe. I don't know if anything will be open. Who knows? Who knows? We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure something. Unless they, unless, unless we get lucky and get a playoff matchup this year, that'd be nice to that see. That would be good, right? That that'd be, be nice to see. All right, that, real good. Well, tell me about your thoughts on the second degree. You, I say you just finished it, and you know the second half, of the second degree, mm. all the depth, all the stuff that's it's in there. It's my that. favorite. It was, tell it, me about it's, it. It's like this was. It's like a growing up experience. Like yeah. you, you don't really reach a. It's like. For me, it's like reaching those teenage years where you feel like, oh, I'm close to adulthood. You know what I mean? I feel like, feel like I could, I could make some decisions. You know, and then you still have your parents like, no, you can't. Yeah, <laughs> you know, but sure. it, it's it's so great. It's a special part in that in in that degree. That's just that's just immaculate. It's it's you, you can't really speak about it. You know, it's, it's, I wish it's, we could. Right? Yeah. It's, it, I'm trying to find words know, for it. Yeah, and I'm yeah, just yeah. like, man, it's hard to it's hard to find things. But it's just so special. Like, you know, if anyone was interested. You know, it, it's it's great to go through. You know? I know there's there are a lot of people, and maybe some people watching this have only done the first degree. There a lot are, of people, yeah, you know, what surprises me? Only done the first degree. Yeah. Please, if you if you're if you're one of those type of people, please do yourself a favor. You know, move forward to the second degree. It's I'm so telling much, you, yeah, it's so it, much that you're missing out so on. Much there, yeah. so missing out on I, so I many things. I met so many people throughout the months that I've been amazing that are like, oh, yeah, I'm, you know, first degree. One guy told me that his, his lodge had went down during COVID. Right. And so he didn't have a home to go to anymore. So oh, I was like, man, that's that sucks. And, you know, I took his information down. I didn't really get a chance to get a hold to him. I guess he's a little elusive. But, you know, yeah. it's not up to me to 
to to you know get someone to go through what they want to do is of their own you know yeah so Makes I sense. hope I hope one day he he finds the time you know to yeah. go through the rest of the steps because it's really awesome I've even heard stories of people thinking that it was something else and then they'll go through the first degree and be like oh that's not what I thought it was right. and then they'll just leave and, and, and you know and they just touched on it they yeah, haven't seen it power a lot. to you yeah because you know maybe it is what you thought it was you just didn't get to that step yet I kind of see it I, me personally I kind of see it like watching the first five minutes of the movie and judging right. the entire exactly. movie on that first fight. Exactly. Fight. It's kind of like, it's kinda like the new Halloween ends movie. Yes. When it, you know, when it first comes on, everyone's like, oh my God, it's a whole different type of plot. And I'm like, that's great. That because is. everyone's had 40 years of the same type of movie. You know, it's great to have something different now. You know, yes. aside from that one little aberration when i was a child i hated that movie it didn't have michael myers in it at all and uh -huh. i was like are you serious i know and i was like seven years old and i was just so over it <laughs> i was so <laughs> mad there you go there you go <laughs> i was like man i want i want to see mike but yeah this movie this one was great but like you said it's it's kind of like reading the first five minutes or seeing the first five yeah. minutes and you're just like oh i'm okay and it's like you're not because you didn't even get to the next part the next yes. part might have got you to sit down and then the third part, you would have been like, wow, I'm glad yes. I stayed, you know, yes. because the ending is, is the bang you're getting to. The first, it's never where you start, it's where you end. That's and by it. the way, if you're in the area and you need a lodge home, this is the place, Sunset Lodge 369. As long as you subscribe. I'm just I'm, <laughs> I'm, just, right. I'm just jiving. I'm <laughs> That's just, right, right. I'm just jiving. There you go. <laughs> well, okay, so so you got a lot out of the second degree. Oh, yeah. That... that no, I'm not gonna say it's, it. But it's, it's so it's really it's so tough, great. Yeah, it? It's, <laughs> I, I, it is. I, I, tell, I keep telling people, you know, you just I, have there, to there's come. nothing going on. It, that right, degree. it's nothing crazy. It's know, nothing it, that I wouldn't want to tell my grandma right, about. Right, right, exactly. But, and and but obviously, so if my grandfather and his father went through it, it's nothing that they wouldn't want their grandkid to go through. Right, right. So, right. It, just keep that in mind that it's 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 not what's what else is out there yeah. in, in the space, the yeah. cyberspace, you know. Because they'll put some stuff out there about anything that'll make you turn that'll turn you off. I'm gonna, I, I, I know this about you, but I'm gonna throw something in here. I remember when I was going through the degrees here, you know, and I I was looking through and I saw something on a um, uh, video from the History Channel about mm. Freemasonry. I said, yeah, this looks like this History Channel. What right, could it right, be? Right, it, right. And I saw something that looked like it had kind of a ceremonial thing on mm -hmm. one thing. I turned it off. <laughs> right, Because yeah. it's not that I was afraid of knowing anything. I just want to be able to experience it for the very first time. Right, you know? exactly. I don't want to learn about something and then not experience. It's, it's just not the same. Same here. I was, I was kind of... Um, taken aback by some of the brothers at the previous lodge I went to, they would tell us to, to watch certain things. And one of the things I saw, it kind of put, put us in, in the candidate's shoes. And I was like, Oh man, I, I kind of didn't want to see that too early, you know, cause I think he was going through the second. Right. And I was like, dang, you know, I wish I would have seen that for the first time on my first time. But, right. but honestly they were in a whole part, different part of the country. So I think they, they, they're in the section that does it a little different, so sure. it was it was still good for me because we don't do it that way anyway. So well, I was like, great, yeah. you know, it was still a new thing for me. But when I do go overseas, it'll be great to see it done their way as well. That's right. Well, I remember I said finally I, t I turned it off oh, and yeah. I said I waited till after I got my uh, I was raised on my third degree here. Oh yeah, and it was a it was a that trip. Is a good one too. It's a, we'll talk about that in a second. Yeah. But I started looking at the videos on YouTube. Right. Yeah. I was saying, Dude, right? Where, where, did, where, where does all this information come from? Where right? do they get this? Some of the questions, honestly, some of the questions people ask me are like so disrespectful in a sense yeah. to my character as yes. a man. Because I'm like, yes. if you know me, you you wouldn't know that I wouldn't be into something like that. Yeah, so why would you even ask me a question like that? So I give them dumb answers sometimes. Well, yeah. it's, it's so funny because <laughs> dumb I, questions get dumb answers. Everyone, I'm I, sorry. I, I have people come up to me and say, "Well." You're naive about it. Wait till you get up to the higher, right, higher right. levels. Right, right. And I'm like, when did you get there? And, and they're I'm like, saying, oh, I'd, I'd heard about it. I'm like, well, you didn't. I know well, that. Well, that's it. But... But I'm a 32nd degree exactly, Mason. Exactly. You know what? Someone actually just told me that this week. This last week, they would they would tell they they said um oh um you know the the cliche oh I, I've been there done that thing and I'm yeah. like I bet I bet guy I bet you know everyone says I've I've done it and I left it because this that and the third and I'm like you didn't do that because no. if you've gotten in you wouldn't leave it because of what you're saying you might leave it because you're too busy you know you got family things going on your your wife might right. be like hey man I need you home. You know, there's a million reasons to leave, but 
some of the negative views that we get is kind of like, no, nah, that's not what's going on. It's, it's kind of like going to college and seeing the fraternity at your school that's doing different right. things. And I'm that's like, it. I'm that's like, it. this is just the world's fraternity. We're just not yeah. in, in a college. You know what I mean? Right. And certain colleges we are. All right. <laughs> so there you go. Well, now, now you have completed the second degree Ooh. and the awesomeness of the second degree. I just sat, I was like, oh, can I just sit here for a moment? Yes. I was like, yes. I want to see that again. Can you imagine me as the senior deacon going over that and doing that over and yeah, over again? Yeah, because. Because they're so rich. I love doing that. And it's just so wonderful doing that. I can just imagine you there with your cowboy hat on. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Now, so you've done your second degree you've done your second degree proficiency mm -hmm. and now the big game here we go number three Doug the Dynasty. master lodge big game hunting. the master mason right sublime degree here we go tell me about it. man that one there i was it was it was like i was new again sure i'll say that That's yeah perfect. it was it was like perfect way of putting it. <laughs> it was like i was like that's what we were waiting on right there that was that's that's one, even though the second is my favorite, that's yes. when I felt like, man, if I could just go through that one more time, Boom. that was so great to go through because of all the things that come with it. It's it's so unbelievable. And it's it's it almost makes me feel bad for the people that went through the first degree and, and just was like, oh, I'm good, you know, Thank because you. it's not what I thought it was. Yes. And I'm like, man, if only you just waited. Yeah. Because the next one, you would have been like, oh, that was awesome. Wait till I get to the, you know what I mean? And then even after your third, you're like, oh, man, there's so much going on here. It's, sure. it's so great to see. But, you know, like like I always say, it's a people own free will. And so, you know, yeah. if they don't want to do it, we can't force anyone to do anything. We can't, you know? but we got... Uh, God please, wouldn't want us to on, do that. Man. Yeah, come but, on, you know, man. Give yourself a break. as your fellow God's child, I would want you to go through everything I went through that was positive yes. in my life. And I'm just like, man, that's one of the things, uh, if you have the time to go through, please do it. All right, so you've gone through all of them. Mm -hmm. Give us an idea. You are now a master mason. You're now able to wear your ring. We're able to wear my rings, And yes. to wear your necklace right and wear there. My He's wearing the, uh, the square and compass necklace. necklace if, if you're on a third degree, I wore it because I was given it at a certain point and never took it back off. Yes. Yeah, you see, like Ooh, that. Yeah. Yes, I, I like that. <laughs> yeah. I like that. I like that. Yeah. So, so. that's awesome. So uh, overall, man, it, you, you've made it. Mm -hmm. And you've come to, what brought you to Sunset Lodge? Oh, man, you know, just, just my traveling. You know, I like to... I, just because I was raised somewhere it didn't mean I had to stay. You know, sure. I like I like to go around and see what's what's the best best place for me to go to. And I went around, filled around, and I got here, and no one let me leave. <laughs> well, not not literally, but in a good way. Nobody <laughs> let you leave. Yeah. But yeah, so it was su it was such a great experience here. It was such a vibrant building, and. The experience yeah. here every Tuesday is like, wow, yeah. I have to leave. You know what I mean? And well, it's, you all, know, and it's like, almost like a you don't have to leave, but we all have to. So Yeah, you know, it's just you know. like Hotel California. Yeah, you can check out any time you, you like, right, but you come, just can never leave. You can never leave. Exactly. It's it's such a great group of guys. Well, you know? that's because you know, water seeks its own level. We Very are what true. we are because of who you are. Very also. true. And a lot of people are coming because of the great energy that is here. So I'm pretty sure... The energy is going to bring us a lot more people, and we're coming to a close. There you go. Well, and thank we you. Appreciate everyone great that to see came you, in. Mr. New York Giant. Thank you so much, my Dallas Cowboy. All right. You you, thank you for being part of Illumination today. Everyone that came by to watch us today, thank you so much. We appreciate you viewing us and come by every week. Hit us in the comment section. I'm always there to answer all questions if you want to come by. Get to us on the comment section. If and you we join will the show. see you next month. Next month we will. Let's see who we can get on here next, right? There Somebody in the comment section should be on here. There you go.